Alright guys, today we're going to be learning how to play Waiting in Vain by Bob Marley. This song is in the key of A flat. It has six chords and they're, they're all pretty simple. It might be a little tricky to finger one of them, but we'll go over that. So this is basically how it goes. major 7 and C sharp major 7. All right, let's, go. let's go over all those chords right now. Here we got our close-up shot and the first chord I'm going to be showing you is the A flat major 7 which sounds like this. The A string and D string are muted so you're not even going to hear those at all. You could also put your pinky up here in the octave A flat. think that's necessary for this song so the fingering you can use your um, you could use your middle finger for the sixth string but I find it easier to use your thumb if you've got big enough hands so that's gonna be like this your thumb and or middle finger you're gonna be on the fourth fret of the sixth string and then with your thumb or f or middle finger you're gonna be muting the A string so you don't hear it at all and then on the top three, you have a C minor triad, which basically means your, um, well, I guess, if you're using it this way with your middle finger up here, it's going to be your pinky on the fifth fret of the G string, your um, ring finger on the fourth fret of the B string, and your pointer finger on the third fret of the E string. That sounds like this. All together. Whoops, whoops, sorry. That's if you're using your middle finger. Now if you're using your thumb for the bass note, then you're going to want to use your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string, your middle finger on the fourth fret of the B string, and your pointer finger on the third fret of the E string. So that's something like this. It's the same sound, just different fingering. And I, I personally like this one better. I think it's easier. So that's your first chord. And then your second chord is a C sharp major 7. Now this is an easy chord. It's fun to play, I think. But um, if, you, if, you know your a, if you know your A major 7 shape down here, you just move that up in bar chord shape up to 4th fret. So you can skip over the next 30 seconds or so if you already know that. But... Anyway, if you don't, you're going to have your, your index finger on the 4th fret of the A string. You're not even going to play the low E string at all. And your index finger is also going to be barring not these three strings. Not the, not the B, the G, and the D. You don't have to worry about this for your index finger, but it is going to be barring the high E string. And then you're going to you're gonna have your ring finger on the 6th fret of the D string, your middle finger on the 5th fret of the G string, and your pinky finger on the 6th fret of the B string, and that'll sound like this. And then when you're playing it, you're going to try to just hit the, the top three strings. But if you hit the the fifth on the on the D string, that's fine. So those are your main two chords. And then for the turnaround, it's gonna be just a regular C sharp major. And I'm gonna assume you know that, so I'm not gonna go over how to play that. And then you slide it up two frets to an E flat major. And then you're gonna go down to a C sharp minor seventh. I mean C minor seventh, sorry down to a B flat minor 7. And I'll just post the tabs for those fingerings. So it's going to be like...
back into the A flat and C sharp. Now let's go look at the right hand. Okay, now the right hand is probably the most tricky part of playing this song. It's, it's simple once you get it down, but probably the hardest part is staying in time. And that just helps by having a metronome. And for this song, it's probably around 160 or, eight or 80, depending on how you like to count it. So try both and see which one works better for you. But anyway, this is how you do it. So I'm gonna go slow and you watch my picking. So you see I'm doing down, up, down, but I'm also doing like a, I'm coming up on muted strings to get a nice reggae kind of chuck and sound, you know what I mean? So it's like this. And you only want to hit those top three strings, but it's okay if you hit the, the A and the D because you've got them muted. And then for the turnaround, you're just doing strums. You can do some fancy stuff if you feel like it, but it's really not necessary. So all together, that's gonna sound like this. There you go, have fun with it.